Straddling Europe and Asia across the Bosporus Strait, the historic city of Istanbul. I've come here to meet a biochemist, a specialist in what she calls preventive and customizable medicine. Ishigul Kolaru is a medical doctor who also a specialist in biomedical engineering. From an early age, Eshigul was fascinated with biology and chemistry, and her passion to understand what happens at the cellular level has never diminished. I'm fascinated by what happens at a cellular level, at the subatomic processes inside the body. And for me, it all boils down to one thing, energy. The more I learn, the more I realise the key is electrons and protons. The difference between being sick or well, alive or dead, is our electron level. The more electrons you have, the more you have life, the more you can live. So if there's a loss of electrons, it accelerates the ageing process, the degeneration. It's exciting for me to discover that the balance between the pluses and minuses can lead to so many different things. Let me begin like this. Maybe the biggest mistake done by humanity is the discovery of shoes, especially the plastic ones. Maybe it's cutting our connection with the earth. Why is it so important not to wear shoes? Because the world is like a battery and shoes are cutting our connection with the earth. The surface of the earth is filled with fields of negative ions. On the plus side, you have thunder and lightning. You can see the interaction between them. What we are looking for, and it's something really good, is to walk barefoot on the earth and absorb negative ions. Just 20 minutes of walking barefoot on a wet, sandy beach or on soil makes a difference. We actually absorb through our feet the negative charge. So why do we feel good walking on the beach or by a waterfall or in a forest? Because that's where we find the highest level of electrons. So all the people who say this kind of place is their happy place, that's because they're receiving electrons. This is healing. It helps the whole body. Why do we sleep, eat, drink water? Because the sensation of feeling well comes from getting the electrons from nature to neutralize the pluses, the protons in our bodies. The interesting part is that the real source of our energy, it's coming fully from the sun. In a sense, we're all chasing light. Without the sun, you can't have anything that's alive. The light of the sun, what we call photons, is received by plants. They use it through photosynthesis. So the plant absorbs carbon dioxide to create its energy and get water. And when we eat the plants, we're getting everything we need. So in a sense, we're taking the energy of the sun back into us. And so being alive is a transfer of light. That's why it's so good to eat a plant-based diet. It's what's natural. And if you eat meat, you have to focus on what is natural. So free-range animals, organic, etc. It's these nutrients that our mitochondria use to provide the power of our cells. Natural food will give us the greatest concentration of nutrients. If we're going to eat processed foods, or if we overcook our food, this is really bad because we kill whatever is natural inside and the process is disrupted. So eating plants with the structured water inside them and the sunlight is the best in terms of energy. Another crucial thing is not to eat too fast. How many times are you chewing your food? You need to chew it sufficiently to absorb the nutrients. Coming to the pancreas, you need to generate a lot of enzymes for digestion. If you're not chewing sufficiently, that means a lot more work to be done. We're talking about insulin and sugar, People with diabetes, if you tell them chew sufficiently, do you think they can improve their health? We should try to chew more than 20 times and this will make an impact. If you stop eating for a longer period of time, intermittent fasting, especially during the winter, the fats from the body are producing energy by being converted to water, structured water. So when the camels walk in the desert, they're using that kind of water. So when you don't eat anything, it's hydrating the body, especially when you don't eat anything at night. If we were living in an ideal world, we would need to talk about supplements. But this is not how we live. If we were like earlier humans, living free in nature, we wouldn't have a house at all. We were like pets inside a house, not living in our natural habitat. 
So the habitat we're living in is wrong. What we eat is wrong. Our lifestyle is wrong. That's why we need to take supplements to support ourselves. We need good fats from seeds, fish, avocado, etc. And perhaps need to supplement with omega-3. We need antioxidants from plants, which we can eat raw, but you can add vitamin C. Many people are deficient in vitamin D, especially in northern countries. Their sources of vitamin D is the sun, so light is a vitamin, daylight is a vitamin, and superficial light is something else. People always want a quick fix. If people want a good weight to balance their glucose level, there are many things we can say. Number one, you're not going to eat anything in the evening. If you can fast, you can fix many health problems. After five, one can stop getting sunlight and stop eating. And by 11, when you have the highest level of melatonin, you can sleep. Even if you don't eat as well as you should during the day, as long as you don't eat a meal at night, you won't gain weight. In order to regenerate, you have to fast. You have to avoid eating anything. So actually, once you stop getting sunlight, you should stop eating. Dementia and other degenerative diseases. They occur at older ages because it's an accumulation problem, accumulation of waste. The older we get, then the more we see these problems, these diseases. The brain is small compared to the rest of the body, but it's using most of the oxygen. But in order to produce energy inside the brain, the brain blood flow, the amount of oxygen needs to be sufficient. It's chasing oxygen. If you don't have sufficient oxygen, the brain can't tolerate this, so we need to make sure the energy is being produced well. So the first and most important thing is oxygen. You should check if there are any blockages in the neck, if there's any sleep apnea. Hyperbaric oxygen treatment in such cases will be very beneficial. When you go inside these pressurized cabins, like underwater, this can be very healing. So energy is produced as clean energy through the mitochondria. But we need to have good fat and plants in our diet to make this happen. The aging of the brain. If this is going to be taken as brain inflammation, we need to correct with oxygen and the best fuel we can provide, not cheap fuel. Plants, local plants, organic, good fats like avocado and nuts, and the fats inside seeds, vegetables, spices, fruits, we need to be using those as fuel for the brain. We can also use certain supplements. The older we get, actually, the more important omega-3 becomes, because the membranes inside the brain are composed of omega-3. There's a role for omega-3 and omega-6. If there's much more omega-6, the inflammatory process is initiated. So omega-3 is vital. The amount of fat is the most important thing. And oxygen. The word cancer is very frightening. From my perspective, I can say the following about cancer. It's a cellular membrane problem. The most important thing in cancer is covering the energy needs. Cancer cells aren't using oils and fats for energy, they're using proteins and glucose. In the energy model produced, there's a lot of lactic acid inside the cells. Like when we feel tired in the muscles, it's a similar kind of level. It's trying to get rid of this all the time to survive. It doesn't want to be suffocated. Around the cancer cells, there's a very high level of acidity, and this acidity actually makes it difficult for the immune system to recognize that cell as a cancer cell. This is how it protects itself while it's proliferating. It's similar as a structure to a stem cell, especially when you fast in the evening. There's autophagy occurring inside the bad cells, which will be the death of the bad cells. Processed food and carbohydrates shouldn't be used at all because they're feeding that bad system. We're trying to increase oxygen so that the mitochondria can generate energy. The interesting thing can be as follows. As we said, free radicals are bad up to a certain point. If you have too many, it's very bad. But free radicals are also signal emitting. If the signal shows high, the mitochondria are eliminating the substance. But if there's no signal, there's no elimination. With cancer, 
The free radical level is zero, so there's no signal. Your body's defenses don't know it's bad, so it's free to multiply, to proliferate. So again, it's down to high levels of oxygen. Hyperbaric oxygen will be beneficial. Nutrition based on good fats, no processed foods, and you need to have good biorhythms. You should also walk barefoot on the ground and drawing electrons from the earth will also help you in this case.